Hello learners! Our topic for today is entitled Electrifying Experience. Under the most essential learning competency, we will infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. But before that, let's have the review of the lesson. In this activity, you will identify the following statements if it is true or false. Number one, white is the absence of all colors. The answer is true. Next one, you say red apple as red because red is reflected by the apple. The answer is true. If compared to red color, yellow absorbs more heat. The answer is false. Dark colors absorb more heat compared to light colors. It is wise to wear white during warm days because it absorbs less heat. The correct answer is true. Next one. The more color an object's reflect, the more heat is absorbed. The answer is false. If an object reflect more color, less heat is absorbed. Now, let's play poor peaks one word. I'm going to show poor pictures and from that, Identify what is being referred to. The first set of pictures tell about electricity. Next one. It is all about gadgets. Next, we have battery, switch, light bulb, and electrical wire. The set of pictures tell about electric circuit, gadgets, appliances, and devices all makes use of electricity. Electricity is the flow of electrons or the negatively charged particles of an atom. It powers most of the things that we use every day that gives much comfort in life. But how does electricity flow to your devices? Is there some kind of magic behind it? There are two conditions that must be present for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Here is an electrical circuit. This is the simple representation on how electricity powers up our devices at home. Electrical circuit is a path in which electrons flow. It is composed of four parts. The load, the wire, the source, and the switch. The first part is the source. It is where the electricity is coming. It can be from generator or cell or batteries. The next is the load. It is the object that uses electricity. It can be a gadget, appliances, or any devices that make use of electricity. In our example, we have refrigerator, television, and cell phone. In a simple circuit, it is the light bulb. Next part is the connecting wire. It is the pathway of electricity from the source to the load. It can be an electrical wire or electrical cords. The last part is the switch. It makes us easy to control the flow of electricity. It opens and closes a circuit by simply turning it off or on. In our example, we have the switches on wall. 
The electricity moved from the battery or the source to the light bulb or the load to the connecting wire. Switch it on and the bulb will light up. This is an example of a closed circuit. The path is complete. If the circuit is broken, we call it an open circuit. The electricity will not flow if there is a gap or break in its path. Light bulb will not light up in an open circuit. There you have it. Now let's see if you remember our lesson. Can you name the parts of a simple electric circuit? Let's see. What is this part called? This is the switch. How about this path? This is the path or the wire. Next part. It is the load. And the last part. It is the source or the battery. Good job! This time, identify what is as or described in each statement. A source of energy. It is the source, a dry cell, or a battery. It connects the light bulb and the battery. It's the wire or the path. A kind of circuit where electricity cannot flow. It is the open circuit. The part that controls the flow of electricity. It is the switch. It is the kind of circuit where electricity flows freely. It is the closed circuit. It makes use of electricity. It is the load. This refers to the complete path of electricity. It is the electrical circuit or simply circuit. There you have it.